Hello, everybody. Welcome to the finals of Fire Leaf Green Any Percent Tournament 2023. I am G Shark. I'm joined here by Maine. Hello. And we have got we've got the final three here. Final race happening right now. Wave Warrior, Ananan, and Amoeba. Should be a good uh, one. All three of these runners are pretty good. Uh, it's been a long been a long tourney for sure it, it's been a, it feels like it's been really long it's been like what five weeks now uh but yeah these guys nnn always considered kind of the best racer or at least has been for a while and then wave and amoeba both doing getting pretty fantastic pbs during the tournament and winning some pretty difficult races along the way as well so they're gonna be given and a good run for his money. And an is the only one that is a uh, returning finalist. Um, last year it was Ananen won the tournament with me and Pokeguy also being in the tournament. But this year we have Wave Warrior and Amoeba. Um, Wave Warrior is uh, Wave Warrior is new to this tournament, right? He wasn't in last year. He was not in last year. Amoeba yeah. Amoeba made it to semis, but not the finals. So um, Wave Warrior's done a really really solid job uh, in, in some of these races. He's been pretty consistent. And he's got best tourney time already. So, but the only two of four four in the tournament. So I know I know that's like. More than anything else, that's like um, um, that's Ananan's plan. He doesn't want to just win. He wants to beat the. He wants to have best rec, uh, race time. I mean, again, so the interesting thing to note again about this round, you know, because it's the finals, is that it's a must-win. So uh, all three of these runners are going to get paid out based on first, second, or third. But I mean, you obviously want to win. Um, that's the only thing that matters. So. Kind of changes up the strategies a little bit, um, basically meaning that if you're behind, you're going to be playing a little riskier um, than normal because certain things like dying, saving and dying and resetting are just going to be too slow. Um, this should be the most competitive race we've seen so far in theory, so uh, we'll just see how it goes. Yeah, and for the final race, uh... We're gonna see some pretty good Squirtles here. They all look pretty solid across the board. The only thing that really stands out to me is maybe a little bit concerned is the 25 speed from Ananan. But oh, late, also, late surge, it doesn't really he, matter. He is all. also doing late surge, which it matters a lot less. Meanwhile, though, uh, everyone looks like they have pretty solid Squirtles. Amoeba probably just has the best one. Yeah, Amoeba's is the best. Um... Waves is Waves is pretty good too. Um, the only difference between Wave and Amoebas is, is going to be um, Amoeba is going to be taking Pulse more on Misty than than Wave is, based on his defense and special defense combo. So, which means which I mean which means Amoeba has a higher chance of getting confused compared to Wave. But um, 30 is a nice speed increment to use. Um, a lot of times when runners use 31, kind of forces you into a box of certain trainers and certain strats, so um, 30 is very consistent. You always get the Carbos, in, and you can just X speed on Sabrina, Sabrina fight, which most runners have been using X speeding on Kadabra, because it's much safer than on Venomoth, so it's even more consistent, so. Yeah, that 10% that to get confused is so bad. Even though it's just then. When you're 29 or 31 speed, it kind of forces you to uh, potentially do Josh, um, which is not the greatest trainer for races, um, mainly because he's he's not guaranteed to hit you, um, but he can, and he can also crit you. So, whereas some of the other trainers um, in Mount Moon are much more consistent. So. It's crazy that already just on Route 1 we're seeing a difference. Amoeba gets a level 3 bird, has to 4 shot it. Wave Wave already has Bubble, gets a level 2 bird that he's able to 2 shot. And then it looks like Ananan's also out with just one poke of experience. 
So they're all pretty, like, nothing, nothing's even gone that wrong so far, but we've seen it before that it can. Bubble, Bubble's gonna be pretty consistent um, <clears throat> for this split. Uh, makes the Sammy fight a little safer. Can make catches a little more consistent, so. I feel um, like if, if you're getting, like, if you have two, two pokes on the way up that you can fight and kill reasonably and not a level, level four, level five, like there's, it feels like there's really not a not good reason not to go for it in a race. It just, it benefits you so much. Generally forcing bubble um, is not the greatest idea. Uh, oh, yeah. Killing forcing a level three bird is just never a good idea because you're not guaranteed to three shot it. Um, it can crit you. It only does. It only damages you. So, although although these runners are gonna have access to three potions on this split, so it's not the end of the world. Um, they use them, but you can just get pretty trolled by birds. So you can take a lot of damage. I mean, getting crit by bird or and then missing tackle. I mean, just um, some runners will even opt to not even fight a bird at all or not even catch a bird at all just because of how dangerous it can be in theory The rats are gonna be much safer With the 50 50 to tail whip They're all you, you also do more damage to them. So it makes catches easier and it's more it's a more consistent three shot. So I mean ideally you get two ratatas on the way up and get bubble yeah, that, like, that's always a bit, like, a level 3 rat, and then a level 2 rat, and that's just, that's the absolute most ideal. Although we saw mostly Pidgeys on the way up. Amoeba, on his second pass, getting zero encounters, so that's he's rare. just already, already pretty far ahead. Uh, and then getting the Pidgey catch, Wave working on a rat, he gets it. And that was, like, thank god he had Bubble for that, too, because a tackle wouldn't necessarily put him in 60... 62% range. I mean, he probably, I mean, in theory, you would have, if you, going, trying to commit to a 62% catch in a race isn't necessarily the best idea if you can get 78 or guaranteed, so, um, I mean, we, you are, Wave is taking a risk there, not attacking again. Although, again, if you crit, you kill it, and it's, the experience is kind of useless, but, um, there, there is there has definitely been times where runners will get three or four breakouts on 62% catches or even 78% catches. So it's getting through the first segment of the game, catching a bird or or a rat or both is requires a lot of good RNG for sure. Um, amoeba, yeah, amoeba. So amoeba got no encounters, which is so just kind of weird. Um, it does give him a little bit of flexibility after the Sammy fight. Um, he can also f sort of, not fish, but he can also get a Nidoran female um, when he goes through the bird grass. Uh, although it's not very likely, um, Nidoran can learn strength, so he, if you get a Nidoran, it saves, it saves time, similar to like a Santru. So that doesn't happen very often. Generally, you're going to get two. You're gonna get at least one encounter and catch one thing. Yeah, it's... Cause you have to... The only <laughs> way you ever really go for it is if you catch both. Or you get like a 1% on the la like on the last pass when you, uh... When you already caught a bird. But he is... I mean, he's in a good position with zero... Uh, with zero pokes to get that. It also just saves time because then you don't have to go looking for a... Like a Sanshu or a rat in Route 4. And the grass right after the forest also has rat and bird, and sometimes, depending on your health after the fight, again, you want to get poisoned in this fight for torrent setup for the gym, so there is certain scenarios where you're at a certain health where going for a catch to take a little bit more damage to get closer to torrent is something that people are going to do, so... Amoeba uh, poison turn one. Uh, it's going to be a pretty slow fight. But in general, he's gonna—he's probably gonna be able to play it pretty safe. I mean, again, a crit here is dangerous. Um, he's gonna have to heal here. Um, yeah. the, the thing—the thing that 
a lot of runners do that summoners don't do is what Ananen is. Oh, I guess he's not going for it. Okay, I guess none of them are going for the third potion. Um, it's pretty unlikely to use two potions on Sammy, but it is not impossible. Um, and it doesn't really lose that much time to go grab that third potion. Um, a lot of runners will do it in races, but again, these, these guys are all of the mindset of trying to be as fast as possible without dying, so they don't want to... They're not, they're not necessarily going to play extremely safe. Um, but generally Wait, speaking, you, do, you don't want to enter the... You don't want to enter Brock's gym without a potion. At least one. I mean, two is really nice, but if you have zero, it's it's you have to get it very very lucky to survive yeah if you have zero if you have zero like you better hope you have torrent because at least you can go for like the nine and six teams uh but if you don't have if you don't have torrent or a potion you're kind of just stuck in a very slow fight and just you have to get stupid lucky there is a setup um in brock's gym where you can defense crawl oh and and risking this okay not risking it, but... He, yeah, he risked the crit there. He risked the I mean, whole yeah. run on that. He risked the crit, yeah. Um, but it's a say. I mean... It's, stu it's super unlikely. The thing people need to understand about this game is that any percent is much different from races, so... But as you get further and further in the tournament, people are going to try to play... Try to play it more optimally rather than safer. Try to get the best time you can. Um, but again, that warrants just getting unlucky and then losing a ton of time. So all three runners have gotten poisoned, um, so they're going to be fairly good, like going in at fairly optimal health. But it's still can kind of suck. They just gotta be worried about the sand trues scratching them. Sand trues definitely. Look, I mean, Sentry's a big enough troll in this gym without even being worried about Onyx. So the, thing to, the thing to note for Sentry is that... Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a likely two-shot. Um, but sometimes when you low roll, uh, it's you're not going to two-shot. Now, the, the thing with that is that if you low roll on the first turn, and then get scratched, you're technically risking him scratching again. Um, so you can actually just die. So a lot of times if you low roll the first bubble and get scratch, your best bet is to potion, even though you're potioning out of um, Torrent. Um, you can either do that or you can risk it and, and hope he doesn't scratch or hope you get the high roll on range. But anytime you gotta reset and start over, you're, I mean, you're just losing a good amount of time, so. Yeah, wave, getting Amoeba. two sand attacks there, missing the range. So Amoeba did the strat of 50-50 tackle on Geodude, the, which is optimal um, most of the time. The issue is if he misses the range, he's got a heal um, after after being plus one, but he just gets it. Very nice. Yeah, that's... Wow. So he didn't get punished for that. Um, that is a good strat to get deeper torrent. Again, the problem is, is that in a race, you're always going to be healing if you miss the range. So, and healing after you've missed the range, and then trying to get back into torrent, being plus one defense takes a takes a long time. So, you didn't get punished, which is good. Um, Ananan though is getting super trolled by the Santa over here, already having to use a potion on it. Well, I mean, again, I like I like the play. I I, I always think that if you're not guaranteed to. If you're risking, like, you know, bu bubble missing and then getting scratched into death, like, it's just not worth it. Like, he's, you're just better off pushing. Like, you really you really don't want to die in the first split. It, yeah, if you can help it, I, I agree with that for sure. Uh, ooh. But way of getting by and you don't really want to see that there. Can you get the range? No. So he's got to heal him. Oh wait, no, he withdrew. He, I think he withdrew on. Oh, uh, okay. He did the same thing. So, yeah, that make he's in pretty deep torrent right now. Um, yeah, with on you, dude, is very safe, but because um, it basically guarantees you win if you get defense crawl. So, 
But again, like I said, it just takes a while to get back into Torrent if you get Tackle and then miss the range, so... Um, Ananen's at 19 health here. Uh, he's gonna be trying to get to 13, and then withdraw on 13. So he could... So he's gonna just go... Instead Interesting. Of yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, he's gonna need to stall on Colton for a while then, it, and he's also already behind. I mean, he could just play it safe and just do hiker. It's it's not really, you know, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. So. It's not. It just it becomes very hard to make up time when you're already a little bit behind on this next split. You'll be, what, losing at least like, at least like seven turns, maybe more. So Amoeba's in a very, very good spot here. Um, he's 10 health at level 13. He's gonna be 14 health at level 15. Unless there's a plus three somewhere, but that doesn't, I guess that doesn't really matter that much, but um, it's gonna allow him to do Rocket. He has enough defense where he doesn't take that much damage from Rocket. Rocket's obviously the fastest. Top end, so you want to do Rocket. Um, yeah, he's just in an insanely good spot. Everything's going about as well as it can. He does have two catches left, though, so oh, yeah, if he... True. If he has to, it, like during the catch, he gets hit by whatever Pokemon he's catching, then he kind of rockets a little bit out the off the table. So yeah, I mean the smartest thing here is is the way that you approach it for Amoeba is that if you take damage from a bird, then you just you just do Bug Catcher. I, I, again, I hope he doesn't do Josh. I, I think Josh is a mistake in in a race unless you have to, because. Generally speaking, again, you don't have a revive at that point. Um, you die, you port super far away. Um, you're supposed to. You people do it to get lower torrent, but it's just not. It's just too risky, in my opinion. So, um, I think if he takes damage, like the correct play at 30, 30 speed is to do buff catcher. Um, and if he doesn't take damage, then the correct play is to do rocket. So, yeah, wave. Uh, Wave already has a... No, he has a rat. He does not have a bird. So he has one. He... So a Nidoran here would be pretty funny. Um, Nidoran here would be amazing. Very Aww. often, but... Okay, seven bird. He's gonna bubble. Oh, he's going for tackle. Okay. Oh my god, Ananan's -An getting super trolled right now. He's getting, like, no damage. He's got one tackle and, like, mostly just string shots. Yeah, Colton is, uh... Definitely kind of He's rough. whipped? Yeah. And so, he needs to stall. And then is really stalling here. Dude, what's going on? And then is losing so much time just between the... Like... Between how the first split went and how... The he, still, he still has to stall again here, so... Alright, I mean... Yep, and then there's the crit. Okay, Amoeba getting the Persim. Persim is going to be basically required in a race. Um, you know, unless you're mild and you want to take the risk. Um, Misty Fight is very troll, so... Yeah, even even if you are mild. Okay, Amoeba going for Bug Catcher. I didn't see yeah. if he got hit or not. I was focused on hitting him. Yeah, he, he, he did take damage from the bird, so... Yeah, that's, that's a good idea, then. <laughs> it can make the next two fights a little bit troll. Uh, but it it's definitely a lot safer than doing any of the other fights, and it's still faster than doing Hiker. Right, Wade's got his bird. He is good on catches for the rest of the run. So Amoeba's not going to have Torrent for the next fight that he does, but I mean that can be remedied with Tackle, that can be remedied with Hyper Fang, it can, can be remedied with Quick Attack. Um, what you don't want to see is Tail Whip and Supersonic, but, you know, he does have the Persum, so it wouldn't be the end of the world, but... Um, I think this is the correct play. Um, again, doing Josh is just too risky. Um, getting crit, like, you have two quick attacks that can hit you, 
you know, at this defense, he's not dead. I mean, he's dead to like one quick attack, one one and sixteen quick quick attack. He's dead to one and sixteen crit. It's just never good to do Josh unless you have to, because you want to try to avoid saving. That's what you're, we're going to see for most of these runners is is they're going to try to avoid saving as much as possible. I mean, they obviously there's certain there's certain things where he needs to save. You have to save. Um, Surge and Agatha, for example, but um, trying to avoid it is the best thing you can do. Yeah, and I, I'm trying to think. I like Amiibo's definitely ahead of Wave right now, but uh, he's also got he's also down one catch. So I think I think he's still probably like maybe ten-ish seconds ahead of Wave if you include they're, they're the catch. They're pretty close, I think. Yeah, um, Amiibo did risk some tiles there. Um, he did do. He did run twice after the repel wore out. So I, I think that was just nerves. Oh my god! Um, yeah, happens. He didn't get punished, so it's fine. But I think he's trying to actually waste some tiles just because he's got the uh, he's got four repels, and he needs to uh, he needs the repel to run out before he gets into the grass tiles outside of moon. Well, he did. He did repel at the person berry, so. I think he's probably fine to not run into that problem. Alright, so Amoeba does get quick attack, turn two. So, yeah, he, he seven a little is bit a fine of health. health. Seven is fine. Um, the thing you want to be aware of is you want to be you want to make sure that you're not in range of poison gas, poison death, uh, or pound death. So he's he should be safe from both of those things. Yeah. The so that like that is definitely the main thing it's but it's still really annoying because you don't really want to you still you'd like to be at a health where you're in torrent but you still don't have to heal after one pound stable miss oh that's the best oh and it gets quick attack right all right he's got to heal here oh he makes it okay so now so the issue with n right now is so that was again it's correct to do hiker there or not hiker it's correct to do rocket there he didn't die uh he almost died he got the range the problem now with NNN is his health is a little too low. Um, just, a, just a little too low. He's gonna be at 8 health here, either at 7 or 8 depending on HP. Um, which means if he gets quick attack then he's just gonna have to heal for, um, for the Grimer. Which is just gonna be slow. Um, you don't want to be too low where you're dead to pounds. Or dead to poison gas hit so um but again it's like not the end of the world if you die you do have a revive um the only problem is you really <laughs> you really don't want to use it um this early you really don't want to use it until you know potentially like martha or like uh you know arcoga or i would say the two surge, like but... the two main places where it really comes into play um are rival two and yeah, Martha. And then Ko then Koga for later, but you can always pick up the second revive. But uh, like the those are the main reasons you use the revive, and you don't want to use the revive for any other reason. You'll still play risky, and you'll use the revive if you need to. Like you, it's a good reason to not save for Misty and save a little bit of time. So of course, Amoeba getting trolled by the Spiro Grass. Um, you are likely to. Encou more likely to encounter a, cu a cutter than you are to, to encounter Spiro. Oh but, my god! Uh, this is this is a very frustrating segment of the game for any for any percenters. I mean, and racers too. But um, so now you got to ask yourself: like, no no encounters going up should have Amoeba have turned around and stalled to get a to get a, a catch because he's being trolled by this. Whereas he could have just gotten a bird encounter 50%. Um, yeah. That's in, that's four in a row, 35%. Yeah. This is how it goes. This is the this is, this grass is really bad. Um, I'm gonna open up the calculator, I'm seeing this. Oh, there we go. There's a sand true. it is level 10. Um, a lot, some, some runners will opt to get the great ball to make this catch a little better. Um, I believe this is 62%. Which is a little scary, but, I mean... He does get it. It's good. Yeah, about um, one. If I'm correct. About 1.5% to get four Spiros in a row. 
Yeah, I mean, it happens. Um, it, that grass definitely kills a good amount of any percent runs. But again, there's really not much you can do. I mean, again, the, the only thing Amoeba could have done was, like I said before, was stall in the Route 1 grass to try to get it in. Knowing that he doesn't have any catches, that he should try to maybe stall to get at least one. Um, but, I mean, again, the prospect of Nidoran time save is nice. Um, but yeah, it's it's that getting a cutter in that grass is pretty bad, so... Yeah, speaking of which, in and in still needs one as well. So Wave, I believe Wave is in the lead now. He, yeah, he Slightly. is. Well, I guess with, the, with uh, Amiibo getting Sandshrew is going to be a little faster, so... Um, and and then just gets it first try. Yeah. So... Amiibo's bad luck helping out Wave's Wave a little bit, getting in the lead. Yeah, I mean, that's just like, what, 40, 40 seconds of time loss for free is... You never want to see that. These runners are going to be trying to aim for between a 26, 30, and like a 27, 30 Misty. Um, is going to is going to propel you off to a decent, decent time. So you don't want anything really above 27. Um, and and getting a mid 26, low 27 is very doable. Um, playing a little riskier, not playing extremely safe. Um, wave opting. Okay, so Wave went for the water gun, um, which is good. Tackle miss is pretty bad. And then he's just he's chilling here. All right. Wave through the fight with a very good, very good miss. That looks a like pretty... a pretty good range. He's going for it. Um, that looks like a good range. Ah, uh, he just crits and gets it. That makes up so much time, actually. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think most people would have gone for that. That was a pretty good looking range, so... Even even... I mean, he did crit, so... but... Yeah, but that was that still... Was that was a pretty good range. That was, a, I think, at least favorable. Yeah, my guess would be that it was 11 and 16. Uh, Anna did... Nice Anna did center early. Um, I don't exactly know why. I'm sure it'll, just... it'll, it'll affect something later, so... Oh, okay, so Wave's not saving. Um, hmm. Don't agree with that, but I mean, we'll see what happens. So now Wave's gonna have to heal now. Just don't get sand attacked. Okay, that's, that's fine. It's actually like... Yeah, that's perfect health. Wave, Wave's got good health, but again, it's like you, you really, you're hoping for, for flinch or sleep powder miss. Yeah, flinch kick. Miss the kick is... so. All right, this is, here's, here's the kick. He's got to hit it or he dies. And you, you have revive here, but you really don't want to die here. Just got to hit the kick, 75%. Nice. It does, wow. Very nice. All right, let's see what happens with Amoeba. Amoeba and Wave both getting the standard fight. Sleep Powder hit, Awakening into Kick, and, and oh, Amoeba is dead. Unlucky. Yeah, this this is probably top three worst fights in the game, uh, aside from Surge and Agatha, and uh, and obviously Brock can be pretty bad too. Yeah, it's. It also, for a race like this, because of how bad it is, it just really, it can really set the tone for the rest of the race, because it's still fairly early on, uh, but you have one person dying, you have one person not dying, and they were more or less neck and neck, but now it just, what, like, easily like two minutes behind, possibly. Yeah, I mean, the issue with this, issue with this race, or racing this game in general, is that a lot of... A lot of it can be determined by early game, early game luck. Um, it's not fully determined by early game luck, but I mean, you can really p propel yourself uh, ahead by taking a little bit of risks and getting lucky and not dying. Um, again, Wave didn't save and hit the kick, and he's in a very, very, very good position here. Um, again, he still has to do surge, whereas Ananen does not, but. 
He's yeah, in a, that's in a good spot here. That was a good. That was. A, I mean, that's the standard fight. I mean, you should hit the kick. Um, that's the thing for anyone who's done any percent runs. You know just how much the like the fights at the begin all the early game, like rival one through surge is just all like it just are it can be RNG hell. Are we getting a kick? Wow, he, he risked it. And he gets a kick and it ends more or less through. Actually, no, he's 100% through. There's no way he dies here. Yeah, I mean, the issue, again, with this fight is that you really, you have to rely on hitting that 75% move. You can't really play around um, anything else. It's just, it, it, it comes down to the, 50, the 75% a lot of the time, so... And if you don't get it, then you die a lot of the time. Uh, I've died. I've died at this fight in any percent the last like six times. It's been a. I've been on a pretty bad streak. It's it's a it's a it's a rough one for sure. Um, yeah, you're you can't get any any X items this early. So you this you really just hitting the kick is the only thing you can do. I mean, outside of the standard fight, I mean, you're you're hoping for flinch. I mean, a flinch allows you to miss one kick and still survive. Um, obviously, sleep powder miss um, is another way where you can miss one kick and still survive. Um, sometimes, sometimes the Bulbasaur likes to just hit you with Vine Whip, um, which is going to save time, but you still have to hit the kick. Uh, and then the worst thing that can usually happen is is he can just Leech Seed, which he's more likely to do at higher health, but Leech Seed is pretty slow, because you have to swap swap, your, swap out your pokes to get rid of it. Now we're on a pretty chill section, though. The rest of Nugget Bridge is very mundane, to say the least. You, hit the, you have the one Oddish that Amoeba just got through, where you ideally hit a kick, but you can also double bite it if you're at higher percent. And there's really nothing else interesting on this split until the Dan pass, which is, like, at least a few minutes out. I mean, I'm glad that Wave bit the Oddish. Um, I think a lot of a lot, a lot of runners will, will understand that, obviously, Kick is top-end faster, but, I mean, if you miss two or three times, you can lose a ton of time. So, I honestly believe it's correct to bite this thing. 90% of the time. Um, so Wave has a lead, so he's just opting for bite. Um, and, and then also biting. Amoeba uh, bit as well. Okay, yeah. It's, it's just, you can just lose too much time or die, so... Um, it's the other, the other Oddish is where you kind of have to kick. Uh, I mean, you, you can bite all of them. Um, it's actually not the worst strat in the world, but it's obviously going to be slower, but... So now we're just, they're all just water pulsing, doing a few, maybe a few water guns if they're important. But there's nothing, like, nothing can go wrong unless you majorly screw up in any of these next fights. So, I'm actually more interested to uh, go a little bit further, because... What they have so all three have pretty good squirtles, but they're all also rash. So wave wave and amoeba, they would be living to they would be tanking two shockwaves from surge if they were mild, but they're not. But they're kinda There's a few different ways you can kinda do do surge if it doesn't go to plan. Uh you can either just heal on surge and hope the uh you uh, get shockwaved into quick attack range, you super potion from that, and then you get one more shot at a kick, or you can just double swap, which is all, like, neither is ideal, but sometimes Surge does not give you the option. Surge, uh, Surge like Bro the Brock fight, is a very complicated fight that a lot of runners will mess up, especially newer runners, because it's... Picking the correct thing to do is very, can be very complicated. Um, and it's also it's also tense a tense fight you know and you're in a race so you, you really don't want to mess it up but I mean honestly the best thing you can do is have a Santru. Um, a Santru allows you to tank a shockwave 
because you can swap into Santru, and he, since he's a ground type, when you're guaranteed to take Shockwave as, as the War Turtle, you will swap into, and basically, you get a free turn um, to heal, so you don't have to swap twice, which is nice. Um, there's very, it's very niche to guarantee tank two shockwaves, even as mild, because you have to, you have to outspeed the Voltorb, you have to get the Voltorb range. Um, it, it's not something you really plan on. It's just like, oh, cool, I got a Squirtle that can take two shockwaves, but you never really relying on that because it's so rare to get. Also, there's like at most, uh, at m like most stat like stat lines where you can it's also you're not guaranteed even to do it because it might be like 35 to 43 and you have 80 health so if you get a 35 then like yeah you can tank two but if you get like a 40 roll then you're not guaranteed to tank two and you really don't want to risk that Waves getting first kick on the Oddish. Oh no, that was the second kick, actually. Yeah. Waves, Waves just cruising. And then Andu with the Shiru pass. Yeah, Amiibo also does the Shiru pass. Uh, oh, I the Shiru, doing the Shiru, Shiru pass. pass is a Shiru pass is a guaranteed way to not get hit. Um, it, it requires a little bit better execution. Um, Wave did the YOLO pass, which is, again, it's only 1 in 16 that he turns that exact direction when he needs to. Uh, that trainer loses you a little bit of time, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah, it's it's one of those things where it's like, it, it's not going to kill your run, and a lot of times it won't even kill a PB attempt, even at higher level, just because it only loses 20 to 30 seconds. But it's just super annoying to hit to get hit by... Uh, Amoeba, in theory, can tank two shockwaves. Um, it's not... I wouldn't say it's, like, likely, but it, it, it is possible based on his HP. He's gonna be at 80. Shockwave does 37 to 44, so technically, like, two low rolls without... With no quick attack from Pikachu and, and outspeed Voltorp get range, he could survive, too. Um, but sometimes in this fight, it's better to take more... Um, taking more damage from Shockwave actually benefits you because it allows you to get into Torrent easier. Um, so you can try to hit a Water Pulse rather than a Mega Kick, but... Um. Yeah, so, yeah. Getting two shock, getting, uh, tanking two Shockwaves, again, like, isn't always the most ideal, because really getting hit by something for Voltorb, I mean, you could just outspeed the Voltorb and that's faster. But Screech, Shockwave, and Sonic Boom all set you up kind of nicely to have some sort of small advantage over the Raichu that you normally wouldn't have. Uh, Shockwave, and, Shockwave and Sonic Boom will make it so that you're more like you're pretty likely to be in Torrent after one Shockwave. So then uh, it'll usually double team, you Water Pulse, and then you can just Water Pulse again instead of having to Mega Kick a second time. Which even through the double team, like through the double team, it's still just way more accurate. Or I mean, if you get screeched, you uh, you basically like double the range at which uh, you can get quick attacked, so you can heal from a slightly higher percent. Yeah, uh, but again, and 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 the way the AI works in that fight is it's 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 favored, it's favored to do certain things. Obviously, with gym leader AI. Um, if you're guaranteed dead to a move, it's going to use that move 100% of the time. Like, if you're at 43 health, Shockwave does 43 minimum, you're always going to get Shockwave. Um, and on that fight, but outside of that, it, it's favored to do certain things um, based on what health you're at. You know, if you're over half, it, it might be more favored to do certain things. If you're under half, it might be more favored to do certain things. Uh, but generally speaking, the, the Raichu likes to double team uh, at least once, if not twice. Um, but sometimes when you're at full health, it can just decide to not to double team, and then it's, then you're just going to get Shockwave, and that can 
mess up your entire fight right off the bat. Um, yeah, it it can just it can thun the only thing it won't do on turn one is quick attack. It'll shock it'll usually double team, it'll sometimes thunder wave, it'll sometimes shock wave. Um and honestly shock wave's probably Shockwave turn one's probably the worst. Yeah, for sure, because it forces you to automatically swap, so um, majority of the time. But that's an, that's another scenario where like ha to being able to tank two shockwaves um, can put you in a good position. But um, most runners will, will opt to to run rash instead of mild, uh, simply because uh, it affects a lot of the splits, a lot of the fights. Uh, I mean, obviously, it affects the Brock split. Um, it gives you a little bit less flexibility on the Brock split, on the Brock fight. Um, it also, later on, uh, affects the Lance fight. Um, the, the Lance fight is not as ideal uh, running mild, so you take a lot more damage. Um, it does make right. the Misty Misty yeah. fight a little simpler and straightforward, but um, these runners didn't have any problems with Misty, so... Yeah, it did, it'll affect way more fight. What, uh, Brock, Lance, Koga, Bruno will all be affected and just worse if you're mild, almost always. Uh, meanwhile, like, Misty or the rival fights, uh, it can't, like, it can help, but also just if you have a high enough special defense anyways, it kinda doesn't matter. So, like, it, the, these special defense 28, 27, 30, uh, you get better ranges for the for like Bulbasaur and Ivysaur doing Vine Whip and stuff, where it's gonna it's gonna do slightly less damage and you're gonna have a better chance of living things in general. Uh, so you can just negate most of the bad stuff, most of the good stuff about Mild by just having a high stat line in Rash. The wave gets the standard fight for both Rival Two and Boat Rival. Uh, no real issues. Doesn't miss kick. Uh, doesn't get the insanely fast flinch fight, but gets the standard um, sleep powder hit, heal, kick. He also hit the kick on the eradicate. So, I mean, waves, waves early game luck has been quite good. Um, he's moving quite fast right now. Um, so Amoeba is now on the fight. So Amoeba's in a good position. He's got torrent. Um, gets through the Pidgeotto. A flinch here obviously would be really good to save him a ton of time. He gets oh. a better miss. That's good. Same. He's just got a yeah. hit. And oh, that's nice. so good. All right, so Amoeba saves a good amount of time here. Uh, not having to heal sleep, not having to heal at all here because he's that in Torrent perfect, for Eradicate. Literally so. the perfect fight. Quite literally the most perfect fight you can get. So the other, the best, I mean, the only thing better would be flinching by okay, yeah, yeah. the yeah, kick. It's... But. Yeah, I saved like another two seconds, but like... Uh, wow, uh, Anna uh, gets Leaf Seed Evade. That's crazy, wow. I actually know, I mean, you see Leaf Seed so... so infrequently that I think it's... I almost never see Leech Seed Evade. I think Anna's health is pretty high here, but I don't think he can... I don't know where he's gonna take damage, but... Usually, I mean, usually you'd stall on the Raticate, but I guess he didn't want to, he just wants to get through. Which, I kind of get that, but Leech Seed Evade actually wasn't ideal because you want to be taking damage. This is where the big split is. Uh, Anan's doing late surge, so he's got the rival fight, he's gonna get cut, and then he just gets the bike voucher and leaves. He's not doing surge. Wave and Amoeba are going straight to Surge's gym. Amoeba is going up to the bike shop and then doing Route 9? Route 10, I think it... Route 9. And then Rock Tunnel first. And he'll come back to surge later, so he's do so it's a little bit of a different strat for rival for the boat rival, where you actually want to go in at full health and then take a bunch of damage and ideally be in torrent afterwards, but it's it just doesn't always happen. Wave getting a really early can that's nice having to reset once though. Wow, wave gets. Good cans. Yeah, th those are just fantastic cans. Mm. 
Well, let's see what Amiibo's got. Insane! Insane! <laughs> Alright, Wally happy. You found the you found the soundboard. Oh, that's a uh, that's a pretty good can for Amoeba as well. All right, so now Waves on the fight. Um, his pace is quite good. Um, he just needs a clean fight here. Alright, I'm speeding the Voltorb. Oh, he misses the range. the range! That's a 13 and 16. The only positive with missing the range is that it, it means that... Again, Surge only has one Super Potion, so he uses it on the Voltorb. He can't use it on the... on the Raichu, which can benefit you. Um, oh, that's right! Bad luck or not, so... Um, it's actually decent. Um, Because sometimes if you crit, like if he crits here, he's gonna, it's gonna be in heal range in theory. So, all right, so he gets the standard. And no okay. wave. That, that, that is what happens. Is he just reviving? Okay, yeah, yeah I guess he's gonna revive. Um, he just needs to hit a mega kick now. Um, although actually, this is not the best because I believe even at half, yeah, he's still in range here, so he's actually cannot swap back to. Uh, the War Turtle, he's got to swap to Spiro, and then he's ideally he's, he's probably gonna potion. Um, again, this is where the weird weirdness of the AI comes in, because um, the Raichu is plus one evasiveness, um, and you, in theory he would get Shockwave here, but he can get another double team here. Um, but yeah, he didn't, which is good. It's so way more like. Here. Oh ah, my god. Yeah, this is uh, yeah, this is over. Oh, oh, oh he, he does have citrus, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Citrus actually Gotta helps. Gotta hit here now. Oh, please. Oh, okay. thank God. All right, now, now if he if he missed there, he could have um, he could have super potioned and gotten quick attack, so he would have. A little bit of an unreasonable chance, fight. But... Amoeba. Oh my, dude, he yeah, gets like a low roll. Citrus. Oh, he didn't fully take it. Oh, he's not he's not opting for revive. Okay. What was that? That did thirty seven to. I think that like low rolled into max roll. Yeah, Amiibo went for the hoping that he wouldn't high roll the other one. Um, yeah, that quite that I mean that was the correct play to go for because what it, it did thirty seven, so it it needed to do forty three or forty four. Forty four is a max roll, so like any other roll he lived that, and he probably just killed the Raichu there. So that was that was the correct play, but I mean Wave lost a little out. bit of time and he lost his revive, but. His time still is pretty good, um, so he just doesn't have the revive. I mean, yeah, I mean, he getting crit there from Shockwave is not what you want. Um, and it is kind of just cruising right now, hitting some kicks, no problem. Uh, that's not that bad. He just, yeah. No, you can't, you can't, uh... Yeah, this isn't gonna, no, he's dead. He's dead again. It's not gonna work. Amoeba, no. Potion there doesn't work, because, I mean, you're opting, you're hoping for low roll. The low roll is 37, he potioned to 39, it's like, you're not, you'd have to get pretty lucky to get, uh, you'd have to get 37 or 38, so, um... Yeah, Amoeba's getting a little unlucky here, um... Again, it's like, I don't, I don't necessarily agree with not using your revive. Um, I don't think he. I'm pretty sure he didn't use it on Rival Two. Or maybe did he use it on Rival Two? No, he he reset. Okay, so he he probably should have opted to use the revive on the first surge death. Um, it's, it's obviously not ideal, but again, you can you can get kind of just looped here. So Thunder Wave. That's. Okay. I mean, yeah, he double you can't. Teams. That yeah, just... you can't. You can't guarantee there. I mean, I mean okay. okay, it's good. Just pulsing again. 
I just hit through para. No. Uh, I think I think I think this is over for Amiibo. Yes. Yeah. I think he's he's gonna he's gonna keep going. It looks like I respect it, but it's yeah. Sometimes they're just uh. I mean, again, Amiibo's opting for resetting rather than um going for the slow revive fight, which I, I don't. Which again, when, when we saw Poke, when we saw this happen to Poke Guy earlier in the tournament, um, he went through a whole stage of trying to save that specific attempt, um, uh, attempt of the surge fight, and then he ended up dying at the end. So this, I mean, this could in theory be faster, but um, I think like I'd be interested to see like ex the exact numbers, but I feel like it. I feel like it might be slightly faster on average to reset because it probably takes about the same amount of time to reset and get back to Raichu that it does to... Oh my god. That it does to just revive the, the problem and is also the, get back. The issue here, Potion is not enough. This is the problem. He has to swap here because he's not going to be in quick attack range. And he, he could Potion again, but he's still... Like, max in range roll is die, 43, yeah. so like he could still die here. Oh, living with one Super Potion. I mean, again, it's like I. You wonder why he's not swapping to Sandshrew because that's an easy, it's an easy fix. But he's not in range here. But I don't even know if seven is enough. Okay, no. Well, okay, he's through. Yeah, that's a lot of time to make up, though. And and that sadly, that is just that surge in a nutshell. You can get, you can get lucky and be way ahead and be in the lead like Wave is, or you can get unlucky and be where Amoeba is right now, and as unreasonable as it is, it's pretty par for the course with Surge. I, mean, I think Amoeba was so focused on, you know, getting a good Surge fight instead of saving the saving the specific attempt on Surge that he opted to reset versus trying to salvage it. But that is, again, that's one of the nice things about Sandshrew specifically, is you can... saves you double swapping, so... Yeah, so you still have a... you still have one of your... HM buddies to use for later if you need to revive. So if we had to guess, I would probably say that uh, Wave is in the lead. Um, yeah, Wave. I think Wave is still pretty in the lead here because it Late Surge still loses like a minute overall, like on average. But Wave, I mean, he obviously had that w the first Surge fight, which did not go well. And he's gonna be saving for Martha here. Good call. So this is this is more of a niche thing to do, but it, it is very smart. Um, the Martha fight, you can just, like, completely wipe to it, um, if you get un unlucky enough. Um, he is guaranteed to get the range on this Mega Kick, um, but the problem is that Razor Leaf, Razor Leaf has a higher crit chance than normal moves, so missing the kick here into Razor Leaf crit will kill him. Um, the issue is when you revive, um, you can just you revive to a health that could di just die to it again. So, um, but he gets the perfect fight, which is good. Um, but I I definitely agree with saving there, um, especially when he has uh, both of his pokes are dead. Well, he doesn't have a revive. Yeah, he, yeah. both of his pokes are dead. So you you sort of have to do that there. You can't risk it. Um, yeah, unless you're you're risking the whole race on that. Now, what is interesting to note is there is a revive to the left of Martha, but again, it, it's useless if you don't have pokes to swap into, so... Yeah, but it, it also means that uh, he, he, there's no reason to pick up the revive later in Safari Zone, because there's he's not going to really be able to use it. He's There is a strat where if you have, what, if you have your, the revive from earlier, and you have both your pokes dead, you can pick up the other revive and revive one of, the, one of your buddies to maybe use the revive later. Uh, it's a little weird, 
and it's not always the best option, I think, but it's definitely an option, and it's not strictly bad either. And it ends taking the the biker passes, uh, or not the biker passes, the rock tunnel movement a little little safe, which is, again can't can't fault him too much. I think a lot of runners in this spot will definitely. You really don't want to hit optionals in a race. Yeah. And um, both those optionals are really terrible to hit. I'm pr I forget exactly what they have. I think they both have an oddish, and they both have at least like three or four things. I'm pretty sure one of them has five pokes, four or five pokes, so yeah, it's quite bad. I'm actually curious, I'm gonna double check. Um, the only- so... <clears throat> so Amoeba's obviously very far behind, um, at yeah. least three or four minutes, so uh, unfortunately for, for him is uh, what, we're gonna, what we're gonna be witnessing on Amoeba's screen from now until he ends up- if whatever happens is- Amiibo's in any percent right now. Um, he's not going to save for anything. He's not going to play. He's going to play 100% optimally. Um, and if he dies, because uh, he's he, you can't you gotta you gotta try to catch up somehow. You can't really bank on runners. You know, I think it's smart not to forfeit for sure. Um, you know, anything can happen. I mean, we've seen runners lose a ton of time on certain fights. Um, also. It's also interesting to note that if if both Ananan and Wave are close towards the ends, they may opt to not save for some E4 members, and then Amoeba can take up the back if they both die and have go back a fight or two. Um, so it definitely is smart. Um, although again, I wouldn't take. Um, yeah, he can also try to opt for second uh, again if the second place person's trying to catch the first place person and doesn't does something risky and dies, like, he can easily t take the spot, so... Uh... Yeah, like, I mean, I mean, it's objectively in a bad position right now. I wouldn't bet money on him, but it's also not unreasonable to expect, like, for him to win either. It's not insanely unreasonable because both, like, explicitly because Wave and Ananan being closer to, being the ones who are, like, in the lead or close to the lead, they have to play for first. And that means playing risky as well. So if Amoeba just gets lucky and they don't, and they play risky in a place where they don't get it, uh, they just like they're kind of they're just screwed. And Amoeba can absolutely, like you said, take up from the back and just get into at least second, possibly first, if they both get unlucky. It's a way of finishing up Rock Tunnel. Um... One last Again, it, you can't be surprised, um, you know, some of the runner's movement has not been the most optimal, but again, it, it's it's the finals and it, it matters, you gotta win, I mean, obviously there's nerves involved and, you know, you, no one's perfect when it comes to movement being perfect 100% of the time, so, um, you know, you, perfect rock tunnels are pretty hard to do. Um, Especially when you're either on a good pace in any percent, or you're yeah you're you're competing in a race right now, so um, not the end of the I world. I feel like Wave's gonna go for Lumberry strats again. He should. I mean, he should. It, it's honestly kind of a underrated strat. Um, yeah, I think I think it's an amazing did. strat. I honestly forgot about it. I probably would have opted for it in the tournament. Um, it, it actually could have saved my tournament race potentially, but. Um, it's a very good, good item. So Wave's pace is pretty good right now. Yeah, we'll see a bit closer to, like, more like the Lavender Tower rival. Like, that, it, that's where stuff kind of, like, mostly gets synced up, and, and then we'll still have a little bit of time save left because of a couple of things. But uh, that's like about where it is. <laughs> I'm, being, I'm being patronized and patronized in chat by a chicken man. Yeah, I need to get nitro. 
it was almost worth it for the emotes, but it's yeah, definitely I, worth I, it for I, the soundboard. I, I'm, I'm looking at it, this for the first time. I only see the, the, the sounds of Truly server. There's like a, there's a, a few of them. Um, I only see, I see Steve for like five servers that I'm in, but I, there's, I think only like those five servers actually had any, have anything in there. Truly. Wanly. <laughs> uh, soundboard. I'm not sure if it was a mistake or not, but it's here. Um. We need to. There's Wave and Torrent. Yeah, he's in Torrent. Cool. Yeah, Wave's, Wave's chilling. Wave's chilling. Um, he's not too low where he's at risk of dying. Um, he does have Torrent. You obviously want to take a little bit of damage. I mean, I think the perfect scenario here is like. You know, maybe miss Arbok range, take Bite damage, and then have Torrent for Geo. Torrent for Geo is, makes the fight much safer and also much faster. It is kind of tricky to get just based on the fact that you have to be pretty low. Because um, you gain a bunch of health from leveling and then also evolving, so it's pretty hard to keep torrent. So, but yeah, if you're you too you're too low. It's like you're you risk just dying to the to the Arbok. I don't think there's really any health that I I could be wrong, but I think that there's either no health or almost no health that you can be at uh, to be at be in torrent during the like at the start of the Giovanni fight without like being in range for the quick attack from that radicate at the beginning yeah um... so like you're just it's super risky wave did early surge as did amoeba wave died once amoeba died let's say more than once like three times maybe yeah it was three or four times it was pretty absurd well amoeba taken Taking those passes perfectly. No time wasted at all. Wait, also. Yeah, I think he's got plenty of uh, Mega Kicks, so he doesn't even need to pick up the Max Ether there. He's been hitting all the kicks. So it still feels so hard to actually properly compare. But yeah, I think Waves probably ahead still. Even with all the time saved left for late surge, like he's probably still ahead. Yeah. Sure. Or maybe they're like I don't think there's I don't think Anna is ahead. It's either even or waves ahead. Amoeba go for Lumberry strats here. I mean, I don't. Again, I don't. Amoeba's in a weird spot. I mean, yeah. On the one hand, he definitely wants to be right there to to take take up second or first if Wave and Anna and you know risk stuff and die. But at the same time, I mean, you just can't play safe. You're, he's just way too far behind. It's like you really can't bank on you know. I mean. It, you know, there's Koga deaths um, that are definitely possible. Um, most runners are going to play Erica pretty safe. I mean, you're banking on 7% miss um, for Blizzard, unless you know runners can obviously opt for double X accuracy strats. Uh, you're banking on um, you know things like getting crit on Bruno, uh, problems with Agatha, you know, missing Blizzard on. I mean, you could even double X X on Lance too. Um, so there's not a ton of things that can lose minutes of time unless you get extremely unlucky. So he still needs to be play very, very optimally and fast. Okay, poison Sting, 21. That's Don't fine. Yeah, he's not think important. That's but... enough. No. He still has two more levels up, level ups, and then he's got like 14 plus 14 or plus 15. So he's definitely gonna be 40 plus. Well, something to note here, too, that's kind of risky. I mean, you could almost save for Geo in this position, but uh, 
Well, let's let's just see what he does. Again, you don't have you don't have pokes to revive. Um, you're in a position where you are dead to, cr to Mega Punch crit, or you know, you get Mega Punch turn one. I mean, you, there's no way you risk. You know, even though it's not guaranteed to Mega Punch you twice, it's still. Yeah, or you could probably do... play it as safe as possible. Or you can just uh, do what Ann and Ann did and crit the first water pulse, so there's like zero risk. Because at least in any percent, like getting pulse into Mega Punch, and when you're dead to a second, another Mega Punch, you're obviously gonna risk it. Um, which is the position that Waves in right now. Whether he, he, but he probably will not. There's no way he's gonna risk it. Uh, it's a little too dangerous. Um, so I think I think things like fake out is good here. Puts you in torrent. Um, lets you two shot. Pretty safe. Um, the wor again, the worst thing you can see is 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 Mega Punch connect after this water pulse. Um, is not what he wants. Confusion is a little troll. Yeah, it's a little slow, but he's pretty safe. I, I think. think he probably should have bit there. Um, but it's fine. Does that just die? No. Sadly not. Okay. I think it was correct to bite there, but I mean, it's fine. He got through it. He's actually at perfect health, too. So he doesn't have to heal. Yeah, he's got... What? He's got to do some buying, some menuing, and then he's at Lavender Rival. So Pulse was... Uh, getting Confuser was pretty safe. Um, well, not safe, but it's, it was pretty slow, but... Uh, it did end up working out. Um, it, it ended up being a lot damage, so... It ended up being safer in the long run. So he got a little lucky there. Um, again, the important thing is to not die here. So, uh, Alright, so Ananan's entering the gym. Uh, we're gonna see how lucky he gets with cans. Yeah, that's one of the things about late surge, is like, the surge fight can be as good as you want it to be. But, ah, oh, of course, he gets his fucking second try cans, never mind. It's... I was just gonna go off and say like, oh yeah, you can just get absolutely trolled by can still, and you can lose an insane amount of time over someone. But if you just get second can, then then there's no time lost. They all had pretty decent cans. Uh, yeah, Wave had one reset. Looks like Ananan and Amoeba had two. And Amoeba had the worst cans, but like they weren't even that bad. It was like fifth try, one two. Three, four, five. It was okay. Seventh try out of fifteen, and it was not. It wasn't even like a, a four-way can. So Anna gets third try cans, although it is an early one, so he doesn't have to go around the block to try to find the first one. Um, so it wasn't that bad. He only had to do uh, one pass, so it was fine. Wave's gonna teach fly. Again, Wave is in a in a nice spot because you don't have to scroll all the way up to potion. Um, if you're not healing here, so menu can be pretty fast. I don't I don't know if Wave bought extra X items. I'm assuming he didn't sell Nugget or buy extra extra X items. So the only thing that can really go wrong here is. Um, 1% mega, mega kick miss, or multiple quick attack crits. So I don't think he's gonna save. Uh, generally people don't save for this fight when you're doing mega, mega kick strats. I just hope he knows that he is on X attack in the bag and not on guard spec, because I've seen people make that mistake before where they think they scroll down to guard spec but didn't. Well, what, some runners, uh, I'm one of them, I never scroll down guard spec on that menu, I'm just used to exiting the menu after um, tossing the moonstone, so I think I believe Wave is, does it, because it doesn't really change anything. You don't have to scroll the guard spec. Um, yeah, you don't it's have like a, to. It's just, a, it's just a preference, so... Uh, okay, so Wave is probably gonna stall on the Gyarados, if I had to guess. Unless he's gonna bank on, um... Unless, yeah, unless he's gonna bank on, um, quick attacks, um, this is not, this is not gonna be Torrent. So he's probably gonna Water Gun here. Water Gun is correct here, if you're trying to stall. You don't really want to bite, just because, uh, yeah. flinching just... Puts you in the same position that you were in before, so 
Gyarados is going to use Thrash, so... Alright, so now he's in a good spot. So this actually is... Based on his this... defense, I think it's good health. I, um... It's perfect Oran... It's, I think, Elmo's perfect for Oranberry. It might be, like, one too high for Oranberry, but he should still be pretty safe overall. He, he, you might, he might even be able to opt to not Oranberry, depending on the level ups here, let's see. Uh, Muck is doing 20, uh, 23 to 27, yeah, so he's actually, he probably, alright, let me look at the level ups here. He's 28 HP, right? Yeah. 28, which means that... He's gaining 5, 8, 12 health. Or he's at he's at he's at 37 right now, right? Or 36. He's at 37. Yeah, he's at 37, level 37 right now. He okay, so he's gonna be gaining HP? 10 he's getting he's gaining 10 health, so he's at 23. So actually he'll be at 33. Uh Weezing Sludge does 33 is the 1 in 16 high roll, so he's at- this is actually perfect health. He's not in Muck Sludge range, and he's not in Weezing Sludge range, in theory. I mean, you, yeah, you could get 1 in 16 Sludge, but that's pretty unlikely. So most- he's gonna probably just do- uh, do nothing here. Um, I mean, you could Orin. You probably- you probably shouldn't here. Um, there's- there, there's no reason to. Um, because again, you okay. want to try to have Torrent for Erica too, so... I'd say the only re- like... It, it depends- I feel like if it's- If you are in- If you Orin and you're in Torrent for Muck, but you're not uh, in Torrent for Weezing, it might actually be worth it. Uh, because then you'll still- Like, he's got the Lumberry, he'll still hit the, uh... Like, he'll just double surf, he'll get the one sludge, all he's risking there is a sludge crit or getting trolled by Muck. Which, I mean, it's not ideal, but it still isn't the worst thing in the world. Well, I mean, considering these runners are always going to do X spec strats, um, generally, um, I mean, I think it's crazy to not do it in a race, but yeah, had Torrent for Eric is kind of wired. Um, so we've seen too many people get absolutely trolled by Erica when going for the raw surf. I think the best thing that can happen is if he gets one quick attack, then he can just Orin and be fine. Um, if he gets two, then it's a little... I think, he, I think two would be Potion. Either way, again, this is another reason why Rash is pretty nice for Koga, because Rash with high HP IV is really good. It gives you a ton of flexibility for options for Koga, whereas some... A lot of mild, mild squirrels will get stuck in a box of only being able to do one thing. Um, but again, when runners are able to pick this, basically pick the squirrel they want to run, you know, days in advance of the tournament, this is why they you're going to try to get a good one. You need one with high HP. Yeah, they, like, I feel like minimum you would go for is 20 HP. If you're, go if you're going for a raid, especially in the finals. I mean, I'm honestly a little surprised that, like, I mean, yeah, waves and waves and Ananen squirrels are really good, but I'm surprised m they didn't try to get Ananen's the speed. Ignoring the Ananen speed, it's like I'm surprised that Wave didn't try to get maybe slightly more defense or slightly more HP. Um, but at a certain point, you kind of you're waiting forever, you know, and it's it's you're searching for like the rarest squirrel ever, so. It's kind of just a waste of time at a certain point. Um, oh, wait. Oh, Amiibo's dead. Amiibo's dead. Yeah, that's cool. it. Yeah. He, he was out of Mega Kicks. Well. Oh, he must not have. Yeah, he must not have. I don't think he realized him. he was that low on Mega Kicks, and then he, he miscounted, just... yeah. yeah. Or wait. Oh, he must have miscounted. Yeah, so he didn't get the Max Ether. So he, he didn't check the... his he didn't check his <laughs> kicks on the Oddish Girl. Um, I mean, he could have, he, uh, he probably could have fixed that if he had just opted to super potion there or, or, or just regular potion. Cause yeah, he was definitely in range of thrash there at 13. Yeah, there's, I mean, 
a lot of possibilities of how that, that could have been saved, but at the end of the day, he was very far behind anyways, so. Right now, probably like slightly over a minute difference, uh, probably if you include the time saves last, maybe a bit under. <laughs> Why is that? That's an interesting soundbite. It's, I thought it was a GG soundbite. Okay, never mind. Uh, no, that's from Melee, man. Well, I know, I know, but it, the, in the in the thing in the soundboard it says GG, so I thought it was just something saying GG. Uh, oh. Don't, don't go through all of them, please. There's so many. Uh, I only see I see like I see like twelve. <laughs> What's a wait in the truly yeah, server? Speak game, man. <laughs> Yeah, and the Truly Discord has, uh, I see 12. Thanks, Speed Gaming. Or no, more than that. Yeah, there's like 18 17, or something. 17, yeah. Oh, okay, 17. Hello, Amiibo. Hi. I thought I'd just drop in to say hi while they're not doing anything too interesting. Well, shit happens in the game. Yeah. I'm not gonna sit here and wonder about Surge, we know what this game's about. Well, t so, t t so tell us about your... your the Surge fight. It, bad. Uh, <laughs> four times. <laughs> why, did, so why did you opt to not... why did you opt to reset I, rather than try to revive? I opted to reset on the first one because it would have been quicker overall and I felt like if I got a very clean fight second attempt I'd still be in the running even though it was a huge deficit. When I died the second time I just lost all interest and stopped thinking. Yeah, and just kept fair. mashing it until it worked. Um, yeah. yeah. That checks out. So, so I guess you you missed, you miscounted your kicks right? So you, did, you forgot yeah. to get max ether yeah. Well I, I looked it early and then I used two on Martha and one on the fight. I don't remember missing any, so I don't know what happened to the fourth kick. Wow. I was literally only playing in case one of these guys yoloed something dumb in Elite Four and Four Third. So I can't imagine that either of them would actually do that. So it was a bit a bit of a, a wing and a prayer. Yeah. I mean it's hard to yeah, after the surge thing, it's 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 pretty hard to yeah, you're pretty far behind. So, I mean, wave had it's a really hard good to, surge. So. It's kind of hard to care as well. Like that's probably yeah. why I miscounted. If I if I was more in the race, I'd have probably been paying more attention. But I was just sure I had two kicks. So. Yeah. Well, GG's anyways. I mean, you made it to finals. That's, that's better than last year. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you did an amazing job last uh, this year overall. Yeah, I'm quite happy with it. Uh, it's a bit you of a shame. The money still, so. Yeah, a bit of a shame this race was a complete letdown, but hey. Yeah, you kind of know what you're getting to when you're playing early surge this many times. I don't think I actually... Oh, I think I died once before this race. So... And you had to rival like... to death too, I believe, right? Yeah. Dude, I died to bridge rival on every race, I'm fairly certain. Yeah, rival bridge rival is that's, worse. That's, just, that's crazy. I'm so sick of that, like... Because it's you, you're like holding the revive, but it's just not worth it because you'll end up making six more saves or something stupid when you don't have the revive after that fight. Yeah. Dark right. picked me for second in the pick'em, so Dark is already losing. I am helping the pick'em's boys. Yeah, the, re the real reason you, the real reason you uh, did bad in the race, yeah. you just didn't want Dark to win. Uh, Juan Lee, like, handed me 20 on the sly, so I threw <laughs> He did not well, do he that did 20, for clarity. He... <laughs> he didn't do that, as a joke. Well, he handed you 20 to, 20 to lose instead of handing you, to, uh, handing you <laughs> a, a pre-recorded run, also... run to win, win with? <laughs> also, if I was taking 20 to lose rather than just getting second, I might as well just got second place, it's worth more money. <laughs> like... I don't, I don't think anyone seriously thinks that he handed you twenty dollars. No, no. Yeah. Okay, actually, actually, clever. I don't think anyone seriously thinks that you accepted twenty dollars from him. Whether whether he <laughs> offered you twenty dollars to lose or not, is a completely different thing. <laughs> him offering is on the table, but apparently I'm good enough that I wouldn't have accepted either which way. Well, I, I think the difference a... between third and second is more than twenty dollars. So it is. Yeah. It's, <laughs> uh... 
I think it's 40, 120, and 240. For I'll be honest, I forgot there was a pot. And you're still in the money. Nice. What yeah. are you going to buy yourself with the prize money? I have, what do I get? $40? Uh, might buy myself a better Leaf Green cartridge. <laughs> not shit bridge rival look Maybe on it. Maybe a fire red cartridge? I've already got one then. For $40? <laughs> dude, cartridges are like 150 dude. Are they? Yeah. Not, I've never needed to buy like one. I just owned, or something. <laughs> I yeah, owned the two I from it. I was just at a shop yesterday and the, like, leaf green was 90, fire red was 100. That's ridiculous. Yep. Well, thanks for having me and thanks for the commentary. Good luck waving, Anna. Thanks for putting on a show for us this past month. No yeah. worries. Yeah, just, I mean, wave just wouldn't, wouldn't, you would need to probably water pulse the Growlithe or Ponyta. Should be fine. Is he a little low on surfs or? I don't know, I think he was just asking. Oh. I, actually, I don't know if he's done it before. Yeah, I think he's always, I think he's done Blizzard on every, every race he's done. But yeah, I would definitely opt for x -backing. Oh That's yeah, 100, 100 times better. out of 100, for sure. Better. Oh, I didn't actually see what happened to his health. He's actually, so something, something did happen to his health, because it's not, it's not where I thought it was going to be, so. I think maybe he got one quick attack in the Norrens. Sludge, turn one, okay. Uh, this is actually fine. Well, actually, no, it's not. Um, I think, do you super potion here? Does that still do, that still does too much. Like, two. Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't do enough. Um. You heal twice? But then you're, like, then you're just, like. I mean, again, you do have the Lum, so, but. He's probably he's just gonna go for the range. I I think he's just gonna go for the range. It, it's a weird spot with Lumberry. Um, I, I guess I guess this is a decent idea. Um, yeah, although if he gets can't afford to go again, through it. Oh, tackle! No fucking shot. No okay, now he's fucking got way. Now he's got to expect. Okay, he knows he knows what he's doing here. Um, so now now poison Lum doesn't matter. And this nice. just kills because it's plus one. Wow, that's really bizarre. He actually got tackle. Uh oh, tackle is so clutch there. That's insane. That worked pretty well. Uh, I don't know the exact tackle range, but I mean, it's. I think it's like 50-50. If, if it's in range of tackle and sludge death, I think it just. It's like a coin flip. So I got... think eight health there. I thought it was honestly. I thought tackle only did like six or something. Either way, that was a bizarre fight. I mean, you don't see that very often, so. Yeah. All right, hit through, minimize, we're good. So Lumberry saving the day with uh, Wave. I mean, that was a little bit of a weird fight, but he didn't have to revive, which is quite nice. Um, he's gonna have Torrent forever. Um, I mean, he just wants to be out of range of uh, Tangela Giga Drain. 11 and 16 range here for Aminan. He gets it, he's chilling. So, uh, looking at that, there's about a 55 second difference between them. Uh, there's still a tiny bit of time save. Probably like 15, 20, 15 to 20 seconds. So... No, is it 15 to 20? Yeah, probably about 15 to 20 seconds. Uh, just for, like, flying to Saffron versus biking. The, can but... the candies, too. The candies, too. Oh, yeah, the can yeah, the candies in the menus. Um, yeah. So, really, it's not gonna be... It's not gonna be fully equal till what, like... Basically, till they enter Sylphco. But even that, even then, it's that's not a full minute, so Wave's still slightly ahead, but it's pretty close. Yeah. I always oh. forget about the candy and the, like, having to do menus. Now the question is, is, is does Wave have enough uh, health to tank the Tangela Giga Drain? Um, I, but I think, I think with, he should be able to just, uh, just he will. potion. Um, Tangela Giga Drain does 20 to 24, and he's at 13, so he should... He's gaining... 
Yeah, he actually may need the potion. Is he? Yeah, he gains three levels. And that's probably like a three. three probably not four. enough. Yeah, he'll probably be at. Yeah, but he, but potion should allow him to um, still have torrent. He'll be at like 40, 42 or something. Should be fine. Wow, Wave's movement was so bad that he actually, the repel wore out, but he didn't get an encounter, so he's fine. But, yeah, I mean, it, it happens. It, it, that Navigating the mansion is hard, is much harder than it looks. Like, um, yeah, but he, he picked I'm up Carbos, me, he picked up Carbos too, so that's like another 10 steps that you usually... Yeah, it was definitely a little weird, but... Yeah, I mean, his movement was a little, it was, yeah. I mean, it it, it, it happens. Um, it's he's it's it's good he didn't get an encounter. I mean, that would have been pretty frustrating, and it's it's happened to everybody. Uh, if you pick up Carbos and then you mess up mess up some of the movement related to that Walker, the Walker pass and stuff. Yeah, I mean it happens. Um, yeah, that Walker, that Walker's just annoying, man. It exists there just to. It exists there just to, like, be annoying to speedrunners, that's it. So both these runners are gonna be... are gonna outspeed Blaine, so they don't really have to worry about anything. Um, generally speaking, in, in a race, you're... you want enough speed where you don't have to deal with the Growlithe, because getting burnt is not the best. Um, Getting crit from Growlithe or burn from Growlithe can just completely mess up your your day. Um, at, but another reason why Lumberry is actually nice here too, because on some sometimes if your health is a little too high, then you'll be out of Torrent for this Growlithe, um, which means you have to stall, um, which allows you to get burnt by Lum. And because if he still has the if he still had the Lum, I, he, he used it on Koga, but it's like another reason why Lum is decent. Um, But again, it's another reason why HP I, HP matters a lot, you know. Yeah, I I mean, most ideally, you just always want to outspeed. It's things have to go pretty wrong, in my opinion, to not be in torrent still for this fight and have to stall. Uh, but I mean, it's definitely possible. It is more than possible for things to go at least a little bit wrong. Yeah, like people people are saying in chat, I, I've I've always been a firm believer that 30 is better than 31 in a race. Um, in speed, oh, yeah. 30 or 31 speed. Um, I think th I think 30 is honestly the perfect speed for a race. Um, it doesn't matter as much when you do late surge, um, but it's, and especially with expect cadaver strats. I mean, yeah, it's just super. Or I know that does that, that, no, never mind. It doesn't even matter. Yeah, you don't even have to do, have to do that. It's just. Carbos, you don't have to worry about Bruno strats, you don't have to worry about stalling Sabrina, you don't have to you don't have to do anything, you don't have to fight any trainers to, to outspeed Sabrina, you just do with Carbos. Uh, that's quite good. Yeah, Wanley, are you gonna revolutionize the uh, Mega Punch strat for the next tournament next tournament? That implies that he cares enough about this game, which he does not. I would I mean but I would run 26 defense just because of Misty lower the chance of getting pulse um, instead of 27 that would 27 well, well, well then well then you're then you're you're more likely to take just, I thought it was 20, 27 you take 10 to 10 to 12 I'm pretty sure right 26 is better, yeah. 27 you take 10 to 12, so um, you're less likely to take Swift, whereas 26 you take 11 to, thir uh, 11 to 13, so you're more likely to take Swift versus Pulse, taking Pulse. I don't remember, I don't remember what it was, but I remember a while ago, like, kind of thinking about it, and I was thinking, like, if every if you had like the ideal IV like your whatever IVs you wanted, like mild might be slightly better. Yeah, I mean, mild again. Mild just runs into issues with. I mean, 
But with enough HP and good enough mild, I mean, like, when I was running mild, I, I would only really take, like, you know, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 defense with, like, super good HP, so, I mean, you, if you do, same thing with modest, like, I think the best way to do it is, like, run a rash for the most part, um, if you're, if you're gonna modest or a mild, you, you gotta run one that's really good. Um, yeah, and that's the thing, it's like, you can't, it can't take any mild, but it's like, if you do, like, a quote-unquote perfect mild, there's a, like, it compete, it competes pretty well with rash. Honest um, is actually completely fine. It's it's a little it can be a little slow um, if you get trolled by getting bubble, um, but outside of that, you, you really it, it makes Martha a little more consistent because you're always biting. You're not going for kick or like a range. Um, I mean, you do have a range on boat rival, but it's going to be a pretty good range. So. Um, Monus isn't that bad. Actually, Ananen is in the lead with Sentry, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, that's mm, yeah, that's true. I'll time. I'm gonna be timing their self their self enters. Either way, I mean, this is what we wanted. We wanted a, a close race, so this is a, this is definitely a close one. Yeah, th this has been been an awesome race between these two. It's... And it kind of sucks that, like, just get literally that one crit on Surge, put Wave, like, he would be so far ahead if not for literally getting crit on that turn. But, uh, that's, like Amiibo was saying earlier, that it's kind of ridiculous to run this game and then complain about Surge. You know what you're getting into. And once again in race, expect expect Tangela is goaded. It's just it's so good every time. I mean, it's one of those things where like you just you wish it was faster or wasn't as slow as just Blizzarding. Because in any percent, dying dying to bl missing Blizzard is the the worst. I, my last run that got to Erica, I missed two Blizzards. I mean, you just it's just such a frustrating way to lose lose the run. Um, I've like considered like doing expect on Tangela if I was like super far ahead, just because even though it is it is optimally it is wrong, but God it sucks missing Blizzard man. Even though Blizzard is seventy percent, so it's it's you know it's slightly less than a Mega Kick, it's still favored you know, but. Wave going for the standard start flash pass on this walker. Make sure he doesn't. Perfect. Yeah, he's good. And then, like, yeah, at the self co enter, they're 12 seconds apart. And with the sand true, uh, that just it's basically even. And I'm probably slightly ahead. So that scientist that you, you saw them pass, uh, you don't. You don't want to hit him. He's pretty bad to hit. Um, now this rocket is very avoidable. They're both avoidable, but um, this rocket is uh, only has one Pokemon that dies, so it's not the end of the world if you hit it. And some people will make a mistake and like hit him. Um, if you press too hard when you're trying to turn frame, you'll hit him. Uh, if you run on accident by canceling bag, you'll hit him. But he's pretty. He's very avoidable. Yeah. I mean, you just. You should, in my opinion, when you're playing this game, you should learn pretty quickly. Uh, if you're canceling bag to do a like bag manip a spinner, you can't like you, uh, cancel it with start. Yeah, and I did cancel with B for the longest time, um, but I've been, but it cancel with start is obviously better, you know, when you can't press B because B runs makes you run. So yeah. yeah. Okay, so and then going for more X items. And I believe Wave saved, right? Wave's Wave's health is not it's not that low, but it's not it's not the highest in the world. Is he world. going he for one X spec? There's no way he's going for no, one X. He's not. He he'll he'll be fine. He's not he's not in quick attack range. Um but I mean, 
Yeah, let's go. Okay, here we go. Pretty much blizzard, the same. Blizzard, blizzard. There you go. Alright, there's one. Now he's got to hit one on Gyarados. Uh, again, he's not guaranteed to die to the Gyarados if he misses, but... Yeah, the, it's really weird. Drag, it has Dragon Rake with Lou 48 feet, which will kill him, but the AI, like, doesn't... I don't, un, I don't really understand. It just doesn't understand Dragon Rage. It doesn't know that it does reason. 40. It's like, because yeah. it's a set damage move, so... Um, it's very weird. No, Surge was a long time ago. Okay, so it doesn't see the roll for Dr Dragon Rage. Yeah. So, that makes sense. Both of them through the fight pretty cleanly, pretty standard. Yeah, both at a pretty similar health too. Uh, Wave has also actually got to he's got to re-equip Black Glasses at some point, which will lose him like another little bit of time. I believe he just has to do that before Lorelei, so I don't think it's. Yeah, it's any time before Lorelei. Like that's He'll probably do it on the the Teach Strength menu. That makes sense. And then he'll just like he'll 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 probably teach strength and then go and he'll scroll. Oh my god! Scroll the black. Okay, scary. Scroll the black glasses and then go scroll the super repel and then he's good. Yeah, he's gonna have to potion at some point as well and maybe before this fight because I don't know if he wants to just risk fake out. Uh. Let's see how much fake out does, friends. Uh, More than twelve. Yeah. There's no way it does less it does like um, less than twelve. It does twelve to fourteen. So uh Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I mean yeah, you just have to. It's it's actually really unfortunate, um because he didn't really need to um Oh, oh, that's right. He went for the range without black glasses, so he, that's why he didn't get it. Oh, oh. yes. <laughs> I, I was a, that was a little bit, a bit of an oversight. That's actually funny. I don't. I actually don't know if it. 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 It, pro it could still be a range without black glasses. But I have no clue. But basically, that Q bone is not guaranteed to die with bite. Um, with the black glasses, it. it dies a good amount of the time, but it's not guaranteed. It's actually, yeah, Chippy is just giga brain. He realized, he realized that Wave doesn't have the black glasses on because he still has Lumberry on. Which everyone so else missed. So it's a little bit of an oversight that Wave missed, you know, because you generally will bite that majority of the time because it's faster than super effective text, but Lumberry is kind of a weird, you know, idea, so. Um, but honestly, because he used the Lumberry, he probably could equip the black glasses anywhere. He, you know, he probably doesn't have to. He doesn't have to wait. You know, that late because um, it's already gone, right? You know, so I mean, if he had it still and he was had to X speed on Venomoth, it would have been useful for that. But because it it disappeared at Koga, so he probably should have put the black glasses on on one of these menus. What it would have probably made the most sense. Yeah, the question, the question is... So that actually costs you... Wave a little bit of time. Having a potion. So NNN has got the lead now. Very small lead, but very much a lead. Did NNN... He doesn't Carvos. I don't think. No, I mean, NNN is yeah, just so going to do the standard close. X speed on Kadabra. Um, Future Sight's not going to do very much damage. It also can't crit, so... Again, X spec on Kadabra is pretty goaded. Uh, it's obviously going to be slower than... It's going to be slightly slower than X speed on Venomoth, but... If you don't have the Lumberry, you're just risking confusion, so... Um, you're going to be safe from crit on Venomoth a lot of the time, but... So yeah, so so I yeah, I guess it's pretty close. Wave caught up a little bit because he didn't need to, because he carbosed on thirty, so he didn't need to, uh, didn't need to do anything. So, which again is another reason why you know, 
speed, you know. It saves a little bit of time on speed. But for late surge, it doesn't. You can run 25. It's the only time loss. But it's also another thing too is that he didn't pick up the carbo, so um, he uh, he saves time on the wave from not picking that up or you and using it too. So probably pretty close. Yeah, it's uh, future sight is like. A tiny bit. It's a tiny bit slower than just like getting hit by the by side beam from Venomoth, but it's pretty negligible, and it's. I mean, like it's probably what an extra two seconds just because like the second attack attack sequence. I mean, but honestly, surprised that, that like more runners didn't realize. I mean, I think people had forgotten about Lumberry, but. If you really think about how goaded Lumberry is and how useful it is in so many situations, I'm surprised more runners didn't actually do it um, in this tournament. Um, I mean, I probably, if I had remembered, I would have, I definitely would have used it because, I mean, it helps you in so many ways. You know, Stun Spore on Erica, you know, Sludge Poison on Koga, Burned on Growlithe, Confusion on Venomoth if you have to X speed. I mean, it's just so insanely good. Yeah, there's. Like, it, I feel like Koga alone makes it kind of worth it, but everything else is just, like, absolutely 100% worth it. Wrong with the raid. Oh, baby. Thank you, Krom. Chrome was someone in the tournament that was definitely, like, pretty criminally underrated. He did quite good. Um, he got pretty, pretty far. I love how Wave and Anna are talking shit to each other in chat. I mean, again, like, in terms of qualifications before the, like, this, the finals, it's like, it really only matters if you win your race. It doesn't really matter the time. Yeah. Um, and to be fair, I mean, Wave did, did some crazy stuff to get that 204 um, and got pretty lucky towards the end of the run. I mean, so it's pretty uncommon to get a 204 unless you you gotta YOLO some stuff and not save on some stuff and if, I mean if you get rewarded it, you get a sick time but it's it's not easy by any means I mean let's see five more crits out of ten attacks uh, that's what Amoeba's betting on and the odds are not in your favor technically one in five <laughs> they're definitely not in your favor they're not even in favor well, to get one or they're not even in favor to get two I should say Oh, there's a crit. Oh, and then gets a crit. Oh, okay. Is he talking about waves? I think they're talking about just crits in general. Yeah, there, yeah, there was a crit. I'm gonna say a crit on Rhyhorn. What if Amoeba, or what if Ananan crits every single one and loses just 10 seconds? Oh. <laughs> I mean, you gotta keep this split interesting somewhat, you know? Just <laughs> looking out for the crit, you know? See what happens. Yeah, this this is by far the most boring split in the game. At least at least the build split has like a couple of things that can like vary. Oh, there's another one. Is that three total? Or no, it's four total. Yeah, this, like aside from literally crit losing time to random crits that are unnecessary there's nothing that can go wrong if you're in torrent and you have enough surfs which is not super difficult to do yeah i mean this split in terms of like trying to like wave said you got a gold split which is not surprising like if you if you get no crits and uh the other thing is like not having to x speed so you can just immediately escape rope out of the gym you don't have to scroll to 
from X speed to escape rope. Uh, and then if your fly is fine, your movement's fine, and you get, yeah, you get no crits, your mashing's good, yeah, that's how you get a gold, so that's how you get like a perfect split here. Is super repelling from here? Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, you know, oh, he almost forgot to... Okay, will he save? I guess not. Absolutely right. not. You save for maybe Agatha here, from here on out, I think. And that's still a maybe. Well, I don't think, I don't think Wave went for, um, extra X items, so... Yeah, he, he didn't, so... Uh, it it doesn't matter. He's betting like he's betting it all right now, and I I can understand. I mean, let's see. I don't think he's in range if he misses. Let's see. So Razor Leaf does rash twenty eight seventy one to eighty four. So he's if he misses here, he's not guaranteed. Also to one in eight crit. Okay. Yeah, he's basically chilling now. I guess and did an N double X -Ac? I don't. Pro I don't know. Oh Ooh, no. Well, I guess not. Oh, he's dead. Dead. There's no way. He's dead. He missed Blizzard. That's is that just how it ends? Does he not have a? He doesn't have a revive left. Uh, I think he has a revive. He's not using it. No, I guess not. That's. Does he oh, have extra? Crazy. Does he have extra X items? He sold the nugget, so I would imagine he does. Um. Yeah, is that not? Did he not he save? Has... He must not have saved, huh? No, he didn't save for that one. And then that is exactly why you save for that yeah. fight, because that can happen. Poor, poor Amoeba wishes he continued. <laughs> but, well, he he didn't really mean to die, but yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I totally agree. Um, if you can x -act twice there, it's... I mean, clearly he still has... I mean, yeah, he would be, but... He I mean, I'm assuming, clearly he has has assuming he has extra X items. So he can afford, unless he's, well, he could, I guess he could also just YOLO Blizzard here if he doesn't have X accuracy. He should have enough X specials, but that's probably what he's going to do. I, okay, he does have an extra X accuracy. And I think, yeah, he's got enough X specials too, so. And this is another situation where you can, when you have extra X accuracies and you see Feather Dance, you can just double X act here. Going for three X specials? No, this is only two. I think that yeah, was three. Cause he started with fourteen. Because no, only... he got uh, he got Feather Dance one turn. Uh, I don't think he did. I don't think he did three. That w he X act, so that would be four turns. I don't. I don't think. I don't think Pidget. He took sixty damage. But one, of, but the, one of those turns was a feather dance. So I don't know. Am I counting wrong? Maybe he's just maybe. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you can. Okay, he's blizzarding first. Well, I guess it just and dies at plus three. Yeah, I mean, I mean, sure. Okay, so he just extra he did an extra X spec because of Feather Dance. Okay, I mean that's fine, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I, I actually didn't I didn't know about that strat, but I mean I guess that works. I, I, is that a range? Is plus three blizzard a range on Gyarados? I'm not sure. Might uh no, he would still be at fifty anyways, even with late surge, so I'm not I'm not super sure. It's crazy though, even dying there, he's not out of it completely. I think he's almost exactly two minutes behind Wave. Tiny bit less because of strength. 
Yeah, I mean, again, it's like Wave's a pretty experienced runner, um, so I, I don't necessarily see him like screwing up Bruno. Um, you can also, he's not gonna have to save. He probably should still, I mean, you have to save for Bruno for sure, because like, if you just get crit, you're, you're screwed. Um, you don't have to save for Lorelei if you can calc out the body slam crit and just heal outside of it. Um, he's obviously gonna save on every other fight. I mean, yeah, it's like, in theory, you know, if Wave gets like crit by Bruno into having to reset and then gets trolled on Agatha. Um, but I would almost, actually, no, he doesn't have, again, it's like, like Amiibo's been saying in chat, it's like, and that, which is what I agree with, it's like buying extra X accuracies in, in a race, I think is really nice, because in this scenario, if Wave had extra X accuracies, he could double X accuracy on Lance to avoid 7% Blizzard miss, and he could obviously, if you buy an extra guard spec, you can just guard spec again on champ and, and double X ac Um, so you don't have to think about these, like, resets, you know, in, even though it's, again, it's unlikely, but it, it is possible. I, again, it happened to Ananan, he died to a 7% blizzard. Alright, his waves movement, I think that was just perfect movement through the victory road there with only two tiles. Yeah, so I mean, Waves, Waves got to feel pretty good here, so he's in a pretty good position. Um, having a Rash Squirtle for Agatha also is pretty nice with high HP. Um, sometimes, um, sometimes you can get turn one Shadow Punch, and if it doesn't get fixed with Super Potion, it's not the greatest thing in the world, so... Yeah, it... Agatha knows how to ruin your day. Waves officially on E4. I mean, overall, I mean, Waves had a, a very, very solid race. I don't, I don't exactly know the pace, but it is quite good. Um... It doesn't seem like anything's really... Nothing's really going wrong for him, though. The only thing that really went wrong was he got that one crit on Giovanni, or not Giovanni, uh, Surge, and then... He messed up the Q-Bone thing. Uh, his yeah. Surge wasn't the greatest, but he still survived. Um, he didn't have to revive, or uh, he just had to swap. Um, yeah, so it was a little slow. Was perfect, too. Like... Yeah, um, and then Koga was like a little weird, and he lost... He lost a little bit of time because he hesitated and had to heal and stuff, but otherwise, it's like... If but that's all die. that went wrong in your run, that's nothing to complain about. Alright, well, that is crit range for... Yeah, so he's definitely gonna heal. Um, on turn one Lapras. Unless he's a crazy person. But there's just no reason that you would not heal. The pro Again, the issue is that you don't heal in any percent. You don't risk, you risk the crit in any percent here, obviously. Because um, it does make the fight worse. Um, mainly because you're more, you're more likely to get Confused Ray, which control you a little bit. But, I mean, you just obviously can't risk getting crit here and dying. If you die on Lorelei here, you lose three minutes, so you really cannot afford to do that, so. Yeah, uh, even... You obviously want to be outside of range. Like, ideally you'd be, yeah, you'd want to be outside of range of crit, but that requires you to not take a lot of damage, and then also, I think it requires safeguard as well, so. I don't know if he got safeguard. I don't think he did get safeguard, otherwise I think he wouldn't be that low. Yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty low here. Um, also, flinching Dugong can help save a little bit of time, uh, save a little bit of health there, but... Yeah, so turn I, one hail. Ideally, he just gets... Oh, he surfed! What are you oh, doing? Yeah, it no! Happens. It happens, it happens, it happens. Yeah. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, this is losing time. This is okay. He's still got a good amount of health, so he just needs to not see Para here. <laughs> that is crit, okay. so actually he's got to heal again. Uh, okay, that's... Okay. Crit Para he's, and <laughs> He's throwing... <laughs> He's fine, he's fine. Although, again, this just gives 
gives if Anna gets hail is here is Anna no, no he Anna got hail already. He already. Oh, he did. Him. Okay, yeah. oh, it's already over. Okay, no, right. it was turn one hail. Or turn two, I guess. Okay, now he's got to hit through confusion here. His health is pretty good here. Yeah, if he hits through this, he doesn't. Uh, All right. Yeah, he just goes in. So that's a what? One. Yeah, thirty-two. Well, the thing is, the thing to note here is that, you know, Wave's obviously got to save, and I think only Ananin's only going to save for, um, for Agatha. Wave's going to have to probably save for everything else. This is going to save for everything. Okay, he's not saving for... Okay, yeah, I don't agree with this. This is not a good idea. But, alright, that's fine. He he does not, not want him to catch up at all. Dude, Wave, why are you not saving, bro? Oh my god. Ananin's just betting on uh, Wave getting unlucky now. He he saves for everything. He wins. No, he saves. You're just if you just die to you can just die to earthquake crit in, in no, a no, lot I'm of saying, scenarios there. No, I'm saying from Ananin's point of view, if Ananin saves for everything and Wave gets unlucky once, Ananin wins. Yeah, but again, it, uh, I don't know. He's still got a good lead. It's like if you die early here, it's like you're not that that's far too, behind. That's too high. Yeah. No, this is guard spec. He's gonna yeah. get a guard spec and then. Well, the problem here, Earthquake, okay, so he, oh, he gets missed, so he's got a spec again now, uh, r so, yeah, oh, he's he in range earthquake. now, so he's got a, he's got a super now, yeah, this is pretty troll, he's got a super now, and he's gonna take Earthquake again, and then he should be in good health, but, um, that was about as troll as it gets, he can fight here, which is good, yeah, so that was not the greatest fight in the world, so, um, Yeah, this okay. got pretty close now, so... He's got exactly with enough... Death, exactly enough x specs left. He's got perfect health here. Um, yeah, I mean, so... In that scenario, the, the reason he was... So, Wave was at 52. The reason that you have the guard spec there is because you don't have torrent, so... But the problem is, is guard spec... You, you, you want to try to elicit a rock tomb, but sometimes it can just earthquake you anyways, so... But it's easily fixable, but I mean again, it's it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, he didn't save and that was it worked out, but any one of those turns he could have just gotten crit and died. I mean it, like a lot of those turns he could have just gotten crit and died and that would have been that would have been it. Wow, well, Ananin you know, so... did not get any of the he just got rock tomb after rock tomb and they all hit. Guard oh, spec strat working out. Oh he did guard spec strat, wow. Yeah. Alright, it... wow. I mean I guess it it's it out. is faster. It is faster, but It's faster when it works, but it's just the AI is so inconsistent. It'll, uh, it'll try to if it if you are faster than it and it has a move that'll lower your speed, it will prioritize that. But it won't guarantee use that. It will try to prioritize that because earthquake will also do more damage and it tries to prioritize do a move that does more damage as well. So it's a little weird. It leans towards rock tomb still since you're faster but it is not guaranteed to rock to him, and that's pretty rough to work around a lot of times. Wave's health is good. Even Shadow Punch here, he can just super. Um, but this is this is, the, this is the crutch of the race right here is going to be what happens here with Wave, because this is where you can lose a lot of time. But he hits! Awesome. He's chilling. Perfect fight. I guess perfect would be Shadow Punch instead of Double Team, but... And Ananin's dot saving, alrighty. He, he um, needs all the time saves. Well, actually, what's interesting here is that because Amoeba forfeited, if Ananin dies here, he, he technically has to finish anyways to get second rather than... Because they, they would both get... Yeah, I mean, you you, you, you sort of have to. It is it, This is one of the riskiest fights in the game, though. Misses the first one. Okay. This is a 6%. He's hitting 50. This is 50. 43. Right. Okay. And he's through. Didn't get didn't get a shadow punch. That still could have gone a lot worse. Yeah, hop in here, Amoeba. Where, where, where did you save? You saved somewhere, right? You can get <laughs> Yeah. He probably saved it on Surge, right? Yeah, that would be the last time he saved. Never mind. 
There's, <laughs> I don't think it's humanly possible <laughs> to catch up then. Like even if Ananan was out of money, which he's not, because he just he's fought a, uh, like these at least the last two, he could just fight a bunch of tra trainers randomly, get money, buy more X items, and still do the E4 faster than uh, Amiibo could catch up. That'd be pretty funny, actually, though. It's like, that would be hilarious to happen. You just go back. You go back, and you don't have enough X items, so you don't just yeah. You like just how do you get, get money? money. <laughs> you sell. You <laughs> can sell a bunch of stuff. You could just sell. Yeah, you could sell a bunch of stuff. But... Oh yeah, you can sell them. Start. You start panhandling for money. Fair change, I need to beat the Elite Four. Alright, so wave on Lance, he's doing safety strats, of course, gets bite, which is great. You, what you don't want to see here is Dren Rage, because you're trying to avoid um, Hyper Beam range, so... I, watch him get another bite. Okay, 85 should be... He's, he's, he's out of range, yeah. I think. Okay... Now, you probably save after this. You, you have to save oh, after yeah, this, he... or not save, you have to heal after heal, this. Yeah. But, um, I still see it's. I still see people, uh, kind of debating over it a little bit. But it's like, if in that situation, you either have to heal on Gyarados or you have to heal later on Aerodactyl. It is always better to heal on Gyarados, 100 percent of the time. Uh, Amiibo, he, Amiibo, he, Wave didn't buy any extra X items. Like neither did it. And like even though I again I think it's correct to buy extra X items, he doesn't have extra X accuracies to do safety strats. So I mean, again, in theory, he could he could miss a Blizzard here. He could he could. Miss, he could miss one on Champ, too. Yeah, NNM bought two extra, but he used one of them already. He didn't do it, I guess. I mean, yeah, he may have agreed to it, but he didn't do it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, this is the guy that, in the last race, he yellowed extreme speed crit to get a good... to get a 204. Instead of... But he could have lost his race if he got crit, but... You know? That is all the blizzards man. for wave. Okay, now I don't think wing attack crit does enough here to kill him, so he's probably fine. Yeah, no, he he's he's really chilling. Ancient power boost, I guess. Okay, yeah. No. He he got put into torrent though, so it still would have killed. Actually, he still he still has torrent. Yeah, it was it's yeah. close torrent though, but yeah. It barely torrent, but it still it like he would have been all right. So he's gonna save. I mean, again, the only the only real thing that can lose him time. I mean, he obviously can still die to um, aerial a bunch of aerial aces and aerial ace crit. Uh, obviously, Blizzard miss after Solar Beam is a death. Um, but outside of that, you can play pretty safe. Again, he doesn't have extra X items, so he can't go for double guard spec on Pidgeot strats to guarantee win. But it's pretty unlikely that he's gonna lose from here. Um, no ancient power boost for Ananan either. Saved 30 seconds. Not actually 30 seconds, but it feels like it. Getting all the all the sand yeah. attacks. This might be a healless fight. All right. So he doesn't have torrent. So he does have to go for Exact Blizzard. Yeah. It's but I think seeing growth here is just almost GG. Yeah, it, more or less. Okay. This is it. This is it. There yeah, it okay, is. Okay, we got it. Okay. It's crazy. It's crazy that we play this game where this has been this whole tournament, and at the end, it's still a seven percent chance to just fucking lose. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, again, you could get trolled. I mean, it is. this is much closer than you'd expect with Anna having a death, but... Um, I mean, Wave can just heal out of getting crit by Gyarados or, or Arcanine, so... Yeah, he's just... This is... I don't think there's any universe where this goes in Anna's favor. He hits the Blizzard, though. He's, like... 
probably within 30 seconds ish of wave. Flinch here is, I think, just GG. I mean, it's just gonna heal. Yep, that's... There's, there's Flinch. I'll okay. hit. I don't think yeah. extreme that's speed it. crit does enough. To... Nope, it, it ne it'll never do more than 100. Crit does. 80, 88 max, so yeah, it's GG. Wave is your Fire Red Leaf Green Any% percent Tournament Champion for this year. Congrats to Wave. This is now his, the second run. second tournament he's won for Pokemon speedrunning. Taking the throne from Ananen, who won last year. Although it was quite close. I mean, again, it's like, it, it is kind of unfortunate that it sort of came down to that. That 7%. Blizzard miss, but, um, I mean, yeah, Wave Warrior is an amazing, amazing Pokemon speedrunner. One, one of the best, so. I mean, but how long have you had that one in the drafts? Honest question. I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't believe you for a like second. You had that before. ready before the tournament started. Well, no, he he just added the Fire Red Leaf Green tournament thing. I, I feel like the Berry Blitz Emerald 229 thing, I, I feel like I've seen that before, but... <laughs> Me, but the professional copy, copy pasta. So a 205 is a... 205 is very, very solid. His race was pretty amazing. Not a, Nothing really... Not really much went wrong. 20547 Yeah, that Congratulations. That's pretty Wait. nutty. Thanks. Dude, you played you played really good and your race was pretty amazing outside of a little weird things here and there, but I hit every um... chip in Blizzard. So, you know. Yeah. Yeah, there's not much to complain about there. I mean, you had little weird things here and there that happened. Like the Cubone thing was pretty funny, but I think we all yeah. missed that, obviously. But yeah, definitely found the black glasses. Uh, Kogo was interesting. Yeah, you Kogo was weird. Right, I, I think. Didn't... You got tackled, which is hilarious. But you did. Fun play fact: it. I, I had no right. idea that thing had tackle. Yeah. You... <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, it's 50, if it's in range of tackle, it'll 50 it'll 50, 50 between that and sludge, so... You, you saw me slow down there because I was calculating if I could tank two sludges. Yeah. Paper potion, and the answer was probably not, but I have no other real play. I'll just I was thinking twice. the same thing. I was like, he kind of just has to tank two sludges there. I even forgot that tackle was just an option. Uh, GG's N&N. Uh, oh, GG's. <laughs> Solid race outside of you know the. I mean, Blizzard I had it. I had it. Like if I miss the Blizzard, I just win it. Like there's no, there's no way around it. Wave has no chance of catching up. But yeah, I don't know. It, I tried it, something. Yeah, I got punished. Happens. Like can one by upset. forty-eight seconds with early surge. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, a surge was not the problem. It was that one mm -hmm. Blizzard video. I right? got like. I had the setup. I had the really good HP setup. I was gonna like save at least one turn in that fight. And I had Sandshrew, like I was just gone at that point. But yeah, for I don't know. sure. Like, what can you do? It's very leaf green. I, ha I couldn't have asked for a better setup on uh, Surge, to be honest, and then fucking Shockwave crit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you both played really well. Uh, it was a pretty pretty close race. Um, one, one double team, I had two chances at hitting a 75% water pulse crit. Yeah, it's. I mean, I think Amoeba said it, but said it best. Where it's like when you're playing Fire at Leaf Green. If you're complaining about Surge, it's like that's the game. It's the game we play. Yeah, I mean, we were just hoping that you know nothing happens. I mean, you still could have died wave on some of the E4 stuff because I mean you, you I'm didn't well pay aware. extra X items, so yeah. You know, but you got the standard, so you didn't get super unlucky with anything, but. Um... Yeah. Definitely wasn't really scary. have other options. I mean, you didn't save on Bruno either, which was a little scary. But I, I guess that makes sense. I don't hindsight. think I had an option to do that. It, yeah, it was, yeah, for sure. I mean, it was like, yeah, Ananam was still catching up there at the end because what it was a full two minutes on the Viridian rival. He still had the Sand True though, and by the time it was yeah. Lorelei, it was like another 45 seconds, and it was kind of just about 45 seconds 
Also, Either to the way. person in chat who said, why is he saving or laughing at me saving before champ? That was objectively the correct play. Be better. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess it was, yeah, but... Uh, because if I, you're if saving, I die, like, I'm, I'm behind either save. way, and if we both die, then I'm still ahead if I save. That is true. Yeah. And I'm still yeah. ahead even after the save, so there's yeah. no downside to saving there. I mean, NNN didn't save for Agatha, which is a little scary, but I mean, Bro, it, made, I, it I, like, sense, I just, but, I just know. went in, and I don't yeah. know. That was pretty scary. Well, like, you, you keep, you keep getting the, double teamed. Like, like, <laughs> what happens if I lose? Like, wow, I just fly back to Zelda, buy my expansions, and retry. Yeah. That's literally all I do. I know, whatever. Bro, I I don't know. Like I was the start. Like the first split is, was I was already done with the game after Colton. I was like, fuck this! I'm two minutes behind the meat, so I cannot catch up. It's over. <laughs> yeah, that was. And like, come on. Like there were, uh, for me, the race was over at that point. And like I think it was still like two minutes behind after after Bill at least behind Wave. And I just had another really, really fucking clean mid game. Yeah, it was. Until, yeah. Mm -hmm. until the rival fight. And I died to Surge. That's true. That saved me a little bit. Yeah, it was. You got like some pretty garbage luck during the f like the first, like those three f fights all in a row. Uh, Liam, Brock, and then Colton. So Anna, it was you, just. You it was just. Sam, it was so Brock. silly. Come on. You, like you opted to not solve for Brock, right? Why did you do that? Do you know? Uh, because it was like 19 HP, and I, like the finish if I've stolen, if I get just crit, then I mean, yeah, I yeah. kind of have to reset or potion, then my HP is even worse. So I was like, I'm just gonna go and uh, just play around crit. And Actually, I think whatever. Wave, Wave, and Amoeba both went for withdraw turn one G. Yeah, and both like, got no range. stretch, yeah, and just... both got the Onyx range. Like, yeah, I, uh, and I, I got like best I could ask for. I know I got early poisoned, I got crit by Weedle after potioning, so I had to use both potions. So I had yeah. to buy potions in the mod, and I got scratch from Liam. Like, I, I had just to save another for classic me early game. So oh, fun. you just forgot to save for Liam. Yeah, I realized on Liam after I- on Sandra after my first bubble. Oh, I forgot to save. Please don't screw me over. <laughs> I missed range, but I got double sand. But you still hit through both of them. I don't think you missed one, yep. did you? I think the only move I missed in the entire run was on Surge. That checks out. I'm pretty sure I'm right about that, too. I missed one Water Pulse on Raichu. Well, GG's. It was, it was a fun it was a fun race. It was a fun tournament. Yeah, it was... Hopefully we get some more participation next year too i think i think as it as it goes on it gets more and more competitive i mean this tournament was definitely more competitive than last year yeah, yeah and I, I mean considering how nuts nuts it was compared to last year i can't wait for next year seeing what the new standard's gonna be and with some of the new racers too that we had this year uh ekman picking it up just for the game and getting to semifinals. uh chippy and Chrome were some uh some newcomers that we uh hadn't really seen before who both did pretty good themselves and I can't wait to see, like, them and everyone next year just putting their all in and seeing what the, what the new scene's gonna be like.